No other hero does the same. 100%. Between the Toms and the Yuzhong, though, in team fights, I feel like it might be a little bit more difficult for Thomas here because there might be such scenarios where Toms goes in, but the other members are just stopped by the Yuzhong because he's Black Dragon forming and they have to go back. Yep, so, uh, it's an yeah. absolute way to penetrate a line. Uh, the Toms have to do it the old fashioned way, but, 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 the Toms can actually buy time. The Toms actually wins the lane uh, if they stick to it. Either they use the Toms to buy time a lot or they, they play so tight that, you know what, they're going to be able to maximize the Nana damage and the Nolan damage. Let's see who will win this game. It was Blacklist International falling to AP Brand in game number one, what we thought would be closer. Suddenly, AP Brand hit a power spike. Will it be the same story or will the Codebreakers force game number three? Again, this is the first day of MPL Philippines Season 13. And yes, we are at that point in that metagame where Tigril and Nana as the roam in mid is definitely not an epic rank troll pick. Not discriminating though, oh, they've no, always no. been really strong. No, no, no. Oh, here we go. Biggest, biggest. Early game fights, I think this is one of the strengths that a Blacklist lineup has, especially since we are playing with a assassin jungler in yeah. Nolan. And look at this, they're already crossing the line here. Yeah, they're doing exactly what they need to, which is what we mentioned before. Just played very tight, though. But the oh. moment that you have a Yuzhong oh. in the middle, that might ah. be problems oh, no. here. Oh, no. Oh. And there you go, the Shaw Essence ticking damage makes the first blood easy for Kyle TZ. So it seems like the rotational choice for Blacklist for game one and two was that, Edward, get out of lane quick, because we need you to disrupt Kyle TZ's early game rotations. All right, let's That's check out the emblems. Oh, wait, unless... AP Brent allow us to do that? Oh, they're oh. fighting. Kyle's, yeah. Kyle's in trouble. Very early what? on. Oh, what? Here no way! The day once more. No way, no way. bro. Oh. No way. It's going to be one for one, but still looks good. Actually, it's two for one. Okay. So, still trade, trade there. though. Still trade. Still trade. Got that. AP Brent, though, with a slight lead here because of their aggressive responses to the aggressive engagements of Blacklist International. The junglers are going to be off their timers though, Leo. I like how, again, if it's just the lane we're talking about, Edward should have the advantage, but AP Brent aren't playing in the lanes. AP Brent are forcing fights elsewhere, anywhere but. And for some reason, it always feels like it catches Blacklist by surprise. Yeah. It, it feels like, wait, wait, why is there another guy here? Uh -oh. Right, the way they're playing it. Bottom. They're Bottom fine. Road. Okay, okay. Yeah, you saw Bit of a fadeaway damage. Yeah, the health will link down. Yep, there's going to be AP Bren Turtle without a problem. So then, let's go on forward. What's next for Blacklist International? Because AP Bren have gotten a good little, good little comfortable lead for them early on here. All right, I think the play is number one, get farm onto Shinsui. Number two, threaten Super Marco. And that's why I think Ogwin has already gone to the measures of protecting Super Marco. Because look at this. There's a four-man coalition down bottom. This is the next best thing that uh, Blacklist can do. Threaten uh, Super Marco and force AP Brent to respond. And then get Haji to do a solid implosion. All of the uh, previous engagements did not really have an implosion on them. So now maybe Blacklist says it's go time. And if they do choose to go time, it's, it, it'll be easy for them to go fight. And uh, let's see. If go time and the fight will be found there again, don't forget about our Aspirant skins. First 10x draw 50% off. The new ones, Chang'e and Leslie, available now. As we look at the mo movements of the map, again, jungle control, slow and steady. The two teams who have made a name for themselves of being really smart, playing around timers and objectives. Systematic MLBB. That's what we're seeing here right now. As AP Brand go for a rotation bot side, but no one's going to commit. Usually, very, yeah, sorry. Very slow paced. Very slow very paced. Slow paced. That's You're true. saying usually. It usually it's very easy for teams to counter a Barretts. For some reason, this Barretts is just a little too hard to control here early to mid. Yeah, Something I happened think here. It's that nombo between him and the. Uh, oh, Nola. that's changing it. Oh, dear oh, lord. There it is. Oh, dear lord. There you go. Perfectly layered Ooh. as well. Nowhere for Edward to go. Kyle TZ's use of Detna's Welcome is very point blank. Like, he doesn't allow for it to charge, doesn't really leave Blacklist any time to respond and reposition. He always ends up getting the right target. The world waiting for Sensui to get going here on this Nolan, who seemed to be just having a bit of a hard time finding the targets as well. Yeah, it's tough to be a Nolan at this point in the game, especially you're down 2k and you have a Yu Zhong hunting for you constantly. Wait, oh, what? Oh, the mid! Whoa, you blew a few there out of nowhere. Yeah. I wish I could have seen how that happened because he's still securing that turtle. 
Looks like it was an, an implosion by Haji set things up. There you go. Yeah, and it was a one-man pickoff. Still allowed for AP Bren to score the turtle again, second of the game. But as I was saying, I think it's wrong for us to think that the only way Blacklist can clap back is through Nolan, oh, through sure. Shinsui. Because again, there's only two things that this hero does is pick off and kill via cleanups. And if big team fights don't happen, then Shinsui's gonna have to wait. He's very patient. This is what he showed us in the playoffs of season 12. But right now, looking at the gold gain, they're down maybe 2,000 gold, and it's in the very right places. It's on Super Marco ahead for AP Bren, and of course, in the XP lane. Because again, is it just me or is Flap DC so comfortable with this Yu He won M2 with a Yu Yeah, that's right. <laughs> he got away without a problem. He's been letting out a little laugh of that sticker. AP Bren now making one of their signature plays. A sandwich push Good behind sandwich. the first tower at bottom to break it down. And as usual, if you don't know, if you don't hear us mentioning a gold laner's name, He's probably doing a pretty good job yeah. being stealthy, making sure he's out of the hairy situations, and getting the gold to make sure he can carry the mid, mid to late. And the fact that it's Super Marco is actually pushing means it's not exactly peaches for Oheb. Now Oheb has to find elsewhere to farm. And, and the more I think about it, I think I... Wait, maybe we're going for an invade. Is that conceal? Conceal activated? Uh, yeah, just a bit of a deny here. Slow it down. Make sure they can't get the... Orange buff easily. Haji with a little bit of assist here. Just within leash range. Almost got it. Still going yep. to Kalteez. 10 seconds plus no retry compared to the... Or 20 even. Compared to the spawn. And I understand now the cautiousness of Blacklist International. Anyone who plays in their ranked games understands one of the worst feelings in the world. It's a Snowball Barretts. So I think that's what just Blacklist is avoiding here. They're not giving KTZ that big of an ability to snowball like crazy and AP Bren will just stomp all over them. Yep, this is the last turtle spawning already. In just a bit, we might get uh, some feedback on what exactly this snowballed Barats is uh, building up already. Oh, two, bad. one, and two. He was soloing too. He was. Yeah. Oh, Lord. It's there. AP Bren still very comfortable. Sensui! Uh, Sensui could be in trouble, but then again, just not quite there yet. Super Marco, he gets a moment where he knows he can get the kill. That's the only time he goes. Uh. Usually he just plays very safe, very passively, but in a good way. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> Here we go. Confirmed. The ancient uh, antique harass, rather, onto uh, Kyle TZ. And already you're answering oh. four out of five heroes from Blacklist. Yep. It's only Yue that you're really worried about. And Yue has to think about Kyle Deasy eating him up, too. What's Kyle Deasy building? Not quite him? safe yet. That's interesting. Uh, I'd like to think half of that Ross, uh, half of that inventory isn't reflecting what it should be. So we'll, we'll right. check in in just a bit, yeah. Check later. Check in a bit. Unless he's thinking of building something at the top of my head, but you know what? We can revisit yeah. it. That's right. For sure. We're okay. So All right. right now, yeah. At least for Blacklist right now, not really getting... You know, ah. picked off, but with a, exactly what he's going to go try for. Kaltizi has a hand on Haji. So hard to get out of harm's way here. I don't think anyone could have made it out of that situation. Yep, Kaltizi building up to a magic defense item. Uh, can confirm, so he's on his way to maybe a Radiant Armor or uh, the newly improved Oracle, could be. Yep. But just the same, he's so tanky. He can face off against the Thams and help push in mid. That's all tier ones down. Blacklist International. Again, one of their few hopes, I, I'm really thinking that this could be an approach, is Sensui playing a Lord Dance that is very different from what AP Bread is expecting. That's what we saw in Season 12, but then again, that's about six months ago. That's yeah. true. And also, quite a tall order to make AP Bren, you know, surprise AP Bren at this point. Yeah. Uh, even if he does, and again, there is a small amount of advantage in terms of items where yes. you can't immediately go down. It has to be a slow burn when someone goes down to Sensui. Yep. 4,000 gold and counting is the difference. Backless International, if they find a big setup, big combo, that could be the way they get back into this, but Blacklist International might not be able to get into the Lord in time to contest it. I don't think they will. Yeah, the smoother damage oh. output here wow. coming in from Super Marker. You can feel it. You can see it from that claw. Just for good measure, you see how flat DC comes in from the bottom? <laughs> it's like, all right, no matter where, no matter which angle, I got you covered. This is a clean Lord take. And I like how AP Brenner actually taking it very seriously. They did not need to retry. Kyle just still did. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Flappy is super calculated as well. You notice him flying into these bushes one by one. 
at the right perfect moment. So the calls are pretty good coming here for Bren, oh. you can tell oh. just because of that. You still got it. I mean, it went from worse to bad. Yeah. Went to the wrong hero, but at least they're the same team. Yeah, at least AP Bren uh, isn't going to get another resource, but they're just getting everything else in the map. No orange buff needed. We'll just get your tower, your purple buff. Towers, and man. AP Branch is on a different level right now, folks. I don't know what, how else to put it. Uh, Towers is getting shredded over and over. That's it. No more tier twos. Something to note about Blacklist's lineup, again, at this point more specifically than any other, you need good wave clear, and they only really have the Nana. All the other heroes on Blacklist's lineup are only good in fights. This is so hard to be Blacklist right now. If you go on a fight, it is actually... <laughs> It's hard to go off against a five-man of AP Brand who seems to be just monstrous tanks right now. Exactly. It's damned if you do, damned if you don't. And there it is confirmed. The new Oracle it seems to be a bestseller. It's selling like hotcakes. Yeah. Lightning Truncheon? Uh, I, I believe that one uh, is, up. Is, is one of those... Uh, I understand. One, I of those, one of those things. Unless that's a Athena Shield. I also see an Athena Shield up uh, on our uh, in-arena monitors. All right. I'll accept the, okay, okay. Yeah, I'll accept that maybe an article of you and Athena Shield. So, talk about this because we're, we're talking defense items, yeah? Yeah, defense yeah. items. He's still one of the most damaged, dealt, the most damaged dealt this game. Good gearing up a 20,000, a Barretts. Wow, yeah, Barretts ridiculous. Has been, has been on the up and up here. All season long, or all off season long, people have been starting to really pick it up. And you know, the revamp is huge. All right. Quick uh, bit of trivia here. Barat is actually the dude riding the dinosaur. Yeah. For all of those who need the reminder. Right, right. AP Bread is actually playing for Lord here, so uh, it's going to be a rather slow pace next 30 seconds. Unless, unless they actually spot someone out. But I think it's in Blacklist's best interest to actually stay behind safety, stay behind their gates. Huh. Yeah, they're to not totally out of it just yet. Can you see here? Just one team trying to somehow find an opening to turn things around. Blacklist International. AP Bren just looking to end it with the next Lord push. The lead that they have built for themselves. Items, Leo. I'm liking that uh, few actually built the Ice Queen wand. Already, if you think that second skill is annoying and the proc of the first, if you stack it with the rest of her skills, dude, there's no way that maybe even Haji can get in if not for a flicker. If Sensui, if he gets hit with a one skill from Few, can even find a way to finish them off. I'm liking it. Even Edward, I guess that's why Edward, ages zero on the Thames, despite having a solid matchup against the Yuzhong if they went one-on-one, -on -one, finds it so hard to peel as a Thames. Really is. It's because already even just Few alone could stop him in his tracks. Yeah, I mean, not to mention the layers you have to go through. Okay. Ogwin right now on the Ruby, who is pulling up on Edward. Haji, you and Hope close by. It's going to be hard for them to get in, even just Agent Zero. Oh! Sensui gets it! Sensui gets it, pays for it with his life, but if you are Blacklist International, that is a huge cost celebration. Hashtag worth it, hashtag worth it. Empowered Waves, a lord to help buffer that push on top. That is a blessing in this guys for Blacklist International. Yes, Sensui died, but it was worth it. The Cardinal one comes in clutch. You saw it coming. The Cardinal, the Cardinal. on the side. He hid in the shrub, let the minion wave pass, <laughs> used the Cyclone Eye oh to God. be able to get close within Retro Range with his dash. That, was... oh. that allows Blacklist to fight another day, but AP Brand oh. look for revenge. Uh, Haji, very close Whoa, there. Interrupted. And Sensui will be back on the field, ready to go for a take here. Oakland's quite low, Super Marco also nom, could nom, nom, be nom, a... Nom. Pretty prime target, Abu but Jing Jing. it will be Abu Jing Jing who is going to be absorbing in front of the damage. Oh there goes my God. the blazing duet, and Edward could also go down, able to just dodge on with a hair. Okay, so Blacklist, their lineup, relatively bad wave clear, hard vision. That's something, again, that we have to add to the list of things that they need to work on. But number two. They have amazing punish yes, in their own base. You have several sources of CC. If I'm not mistaken, same for Sensui, everyone has CC. Yep. So if you go a little bit too deep, just like what happened just now, AP Brand definitely could have suffered way worse. I think we're already still reeling from the fact that Sensui stole the Lord. But I think, again, much like one of the games from earlier tonight, Minana, Evos, and TNC, inside the base where Blacklist might actually find solace. Yep. Sensui has like 
around, on average, I would say five per season since he's joined the league of just insane. Out of nowhere. Out of nowhere, Lord Steals. He's stolen my heart. And he's stolen Add a lot one of, of that one. Yeah. He's an amazing core. <laughs> That's amazing also what you can do when you just can throw anyone there. Yeah. Right? Oh. You can just. You can just do it without anyone close by with your team when everyone's watching. I'm yeah. pretty sure he communicated with the team and I'm, I'm gonna try this, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, that looked like a set play by Blacklist. And then, <laughs> and then comedic cut, Arnold Schwarzenegger running. Yeah. Susui, no! <laughs> and then he does it anyway. Oh, he does it. Oh. That's and what matters. I just wanna say, I, I think it's also Blacklist's respect of the tendencies of AP Bren. We know how AP Bren at one point almost always will stop damaging an objective just to focus on heroes. That's true. That was the window. So there was muscle memory involved. Yeah. As soon as they saw a, a glimpse of Sensui's shadow, a little bit of his DNA, they were like, yeah. wait, what? And then, pow! Yeah, I know. You know got, we're talking about this play over and over again, but look at where it got Blacklist, right? Exactly. They're, they're catching up. They're leaving their base. Yeah, yeah, Super Marco has been capped on items for the past three minutes. Yeah, they and, have more room to work with. And nothing much has happened, right? That's huge. That that was a turning point for sure. If they got another one here, uh, I don't know. I'll just really hope I don't accidentally blurt an ex an, ex an expletive. <laughs> Rock hard. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, we're gonna do it. They're gonna do, do the it. thing. Edward's <laughs> starting to get in position. Flap TZ on the bush check once more. But Blacklist Whoa. is no on conceal. Who is close by for the red? Oh! Oh! No way again. No way. Oh! Second oh time. My Goodness! And the fight is just going non-stop. Ohem might be looking better here in terms of the damage department. He is doing some work one on the Flap TZ. One for one trade, plus a steal from Sensui. Oh man, if the haters are doubting you, do it twice and take pictures. Sensui <laughs> steals the Lord again, and this time with interest because they were able to trade off with few. Blacklist, ladies and gentlemen, are in this game. This is unreal. I know how you feel now with this what you found with Benny Cutie Leo. Damn you, Sensui. I <laughs> almost swore and lost oh. my job. What a play. You do. He, he gets five per season on average. He got two in one game. <laughs> and oh, they, right. have, they, have, they have 13 oh. more games. <laughs> they have 13 more games. 13 series left. Series, yeah. Oh. He's batting two for two wow. already right now with the Lord Steals, and it is unbelievable. Dare I say, folks, that was pretty legit. Look at this. The map is blue. It is. Blacklists are starting to make this lineup work here. Oh, and obviously oh, 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 still oh, 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 absorbing a lot of damage here from Super Marco. That's something you can't whoa, ignore, oh, but you it will be in trouble. I think he still has a passive as well. So, man, oh man. At the drop of a hat, Woo. the turns of table. Look at that, Blacks International doing more than just leaving their base, doing more than just crossing the river. They've actually almost equalized the map. Only but the mid lane tier two standing for AP Bren and their inhibitors. Look at that, the steal coming in. And we could have sworn he was going to die to flap, right? I swear, I swear he could have. <sighs> yeah, I think Kaltizi bumped into a wall there or something. He walked a bit too slow for the red tree. And since we just was all over it. Again, I think key to this actually working is the anti-disaster protocol. Get enough farm yeah. on your jungler for them to be able to deal the right amount of damage, get him to the right EXP so that his retribution is at the same level as the opponents as they try to steal, so the threshold is the same. And then number three is have beyond human reflexes. I don't know how easy to get that third part is, <laughs> but I've never done it before. I'm, 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 I, have, I have secondhand happiness for Sensui. This is amazing. I guess those one of the things where if you have it, you have it, yeah. you just know it, right? So I get what you mean, though. Oh, one of the key questions we ask for this season, what does victory mean for players, for the teams? I feel like if you ask Sensui at this point, victory for me is just stealing lords. Not once, not twice. <laughs> I did it for the black list. All of the lords. All, the, All lords. the lords. Oh, man. Sensui's ha victory is pressing red tree before everyone else. Yep. <laughs> Basically. Still can move on twice in one game. That's going to be content for a lot of people. Yeah, but again, <sighs> will it be oh. enough to actually no. turn back if, if he the does, game? If he does this a third time, I'm dropping my headset and I'm walking out. 
<laughs> not because I didn't like what I saw, but because no way. I, I feel like I'm in a different universe if that happened. That He's hanging true. out of the same bush. Yeah. <laughs> same bush. That's where you put yourself. Oh, they Haji. Oh, they're, they're shifting up priorities here. Haji with implosion force to flicker oh, out as got well. Away. But that's a few skills being used already for AP Bren. That's Ogun with the I'm Offended, as well as the Blazing Duet from Super Marco. So that might be something. All right, Haji did spend his implosion too. Yep. So it's a two for one. I'm sure all of these players are counting resources as well. Time it. Something to note, a minute off of Purify. That I think is going to be key. Super Marco is not as safe as he yep. once was. He really has to time his entry. It's now AP Bren are going for the cross map play. AP Bren also. Tracking around the Lord, still no full info for both teams of where, who the other is. They're looking for the Nolan, they're looking for the TIG. There down it is. to 50%. Info given already. We've got, we've seen the Brody down 16. on the bottom side and said, AP Bren, you know what guys, we can probably do this. No immortality for Super Marco though, still no Purify. Yep. Edward, making sure he is the one that will keep AP Bren busy, but where is everyone else? Yep. Waiting for the cooldown return on the ultimate of their Ruby. Still, the minion wave down bottom is a problem, but Blacklist aren't going to be dealing with it because they know where Super Marco is. That's the long lane. Uh, I think it's in uh, Blacklist's best interest to send someone over there. Uh, unless they're just going for the steal once more. And something to note, since he's hanging out in the same bush, but oh. now you are going to pop the passive! There it is. Passive already popped up. Might be risky for Blacklist, but they really have no other choice, don't they? All that for a passive, since Sui's still in the same shrub. Minion waves down mid, and bot have to be managed by Blacklist. Edward will have to go back. AP Brand have a slight reprieve and a slight lead for this, but they still don't know where the Zen Master is. Uh, Flappy sees him. Yeah, for the past He's... five seconds, since Sui was actually standing right outside the bush. Yeah, but what, again, what was that about? Something I didn't, I didn't tells me that. it might be on purpose. Oh. He might be showing himself so that he can reposition. Okay, ah. It right. didn't really cost him. It didn't really cost him. It huh? also forces AP Brand to maybe think of a reset here. Yeah. They See, know it's covered. Flap's doing the same thing. Flap's doing the same thing. Oh, same thing. he's yeah, showing, he's showing up. up. He's showing up. All right. It's I the like it. These two teams. Ogwen. But the focus is here. Near Ogwen. Oh, he missed oh, it. He's caught. He's caught up in a very, very bad place here. Edward Doe and Haji. Very low HP, but still able to walk out. Oh, hey, here comes trouble. all the skills. Yeah. They're crashing oh, down. Haji in the back. And Edward on the other oh. side. Edward. Agent Zero, the first to fall there. Oh, I see the intent. They were going to try to send Zinsui for cleanup, but instead it went a little too deep, a little too long, and Zinsui could not find the position to get two kills off the back of that amazing engage by Edward and Haji. A different position here. Flap and Zinsui are swapped up. Someone needs to check it. Someone needs to check it. Do they know? Oh, there you go. He's showing himself. Do he's they himself. have to know? He's showing himself. He's showing Three himself. times in one game, are you sure? Marco finds Sensui. And they're going straight for it. Retribution can be enraged. Sensui is terrified. He's enraged. Yeah. And he's going to be popped up. Oh. Immortality was there. And the Lord goes over the AP Bren. No third time's the charm for Sensui. Has AP Bren calculated as ever? gets the next Major Lord, fourth one in this game without flap though. Can the reigning world champions end this series here? Something tells me they're gonna at least walk away with a clean base. AP Brand are gonna sink these waves as they've done right now. There's still another big wave waiting down bottom. And this Lord, this Lord is actually evolved. So even if flap these is missing, AP Brand's hits actually sting a little bit more. And speaking of staying more, I feel like Oheb should start to stay more with all the attention being thrown over oh. to Sensui here for the past how many minutes? Well orchestrated, Blacks International actually let the waves crash in so that they would have to deal with the heroes and the Lord and the waves at the same time. We painted the picture of these two legendary teams, the names behind them, and they're delivering us a nigh almost legendary game. I don't want to say it's going to be up there in the greatest games of all time, but damn, it's day number one of MPL Philippines Season 13, and this is just damn good MLBB that we're watching right now. The way the Blacklist is slowly clawing back into this, because one man said, I will not let us lose here, not like this. But AP Brand showing why they are who they are yet again. But at this point, I believe the coin is still tossed up in the air, Leo. What are the conditions now for these two teams to get their desired results? All right, 
at about the eight or nine minute mark, we've been talking about how maybe Sensui isn't the only way that AP uh, Blacklist can win, so that AP Bren can actually, you know, have to think twice about the engagement. Because let's 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 let's, let's admit it. Up until that Lord Steel, AP Bren was calling the shots, right? All throughout the map. Yeah. So now maybe something tells me Blacklist has to switch it up again. Maybe they've gotten so used to the fact that maybe we can just keep stealing the Lord. No, what if they actually find a way to punish inside their base? Let AP Bren in! And they have shown that they can do that even when they were on a deficit. What more now? Yeah. That The gold is a little bit evened up. Uh, the, the, the gold is negligible. Everybody's full build. <laughs> you can feel the tension in the air and the very cold air. 4-8 kill score, by the way. 4-8. So many things has happened, and it's only 4-8. Talk about <laughs> kill scores. Sensui has killed more lords than heroes. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> that is very true. That's true. 20 that is true. seconds. Oh, he's going for it. There goes the big implosion we're talking about. Flicker already coming in as well. Ogun already has the immortality used up. This he's is going to be big here for Blacklist, but the clap back is real for AP Bren as well. Edward still has emo. And but we'll have to back off as well. There are a lot of ultimates oh. expended here for AP Brand. That was a pretty good move there for Blacklist. And a round of applause by the crowd here. It's like you're watching one of those 30 minute Iron Man matches. You know what that looked like? It's one of those moments where in the two martial arts masters who never met just goes into a full on sequence and then just and just acknowledge each other's skill. <laughs> All right. It. Just walk away. Yes. This is who you are. We'll meet again in another battlefield, and the next battlefield is that Lord. A pressure onto the push down into the bot lane, and we find ourselves here again. A tale as old as, not time, but this entire series of yeah. war, and this game number two specifically. Lord number five of this game. We're pushing 30. Funnily enough, I feel like push is the only way that this game is going to get resolved here. The way the things are going, the, the minion ways are going to be so much more crucial here. Super Marco up front, no immortality, that's very risky. Haji slows by, he's in position to maybe make an immortality happen, but immortality, his flicker is on cooldown. There goes the implosion, slows up, Kaltizi, he's on half. Edward's on the back as well, trying to get some attention. Sensui, he's railing, he's riding on the bush, and Edward is going to have to make one, oh, but he takes out field! Sensui forces the flicker out as Sensui. well, there you go. So many old, so many battle spells used up. And another martial <laughs> arts master moment. Both teams walk away with no casualties, nobody well enough to fight the Lord, and they both back off. Folks, crowd is eating this up as well, by the way. We're not seeing a lot of ki kills Man. here. But you have to appreciate the beauty of this game, the respect that these two have for each other's abilities, the timers, the immortalities, the key things you look for, the micro of it all in a team fight. This is why we are the home of champions, why the Filipinos have built a legacy of greatness all over the world in Mobile Legends Bang Bang is because of things like these. We're nearing 30 minutes into game number two of our only second series of season 13. And Haji goes oh! in! Activated by Haji already. Who did he catch? I think he already caught, caught Philguin there. And Ogwin already used the flicker as well defensively. Back, Blacklist has Ohem on the side. Flaptizi is gonna have to oh. walk off as well. And the Lord's gonna be reset, but look at the bottom side of the map being worked on by Super Marco. Long lane control by AP Bren on point. I think they understood that they're not gonna get away with anything. Nobody gets free kills, not at this point, not approaching 30 minutes, so they'll just play the map. And it's much easier, much safer, more free for AP Bren to do that. So they made leeway on the map. If only, if only Edward did not pay attention to that, that would have been a penetration on bottom. Yeah, big props to Edward, by the way, playing this very close to his chest. Yeah, He's so good at controlling the long lane, man. These two teams have just been tremendous with controlling everything, making the most out of every ability. In the middle of a very chaotic environment as well. Yeah, it's so chaotic, but you can see the gears turning and all the players says, oh, he's gonna go in, I'm gonna have to cancel this. Don't worry, I can take the damage here because I have an immortality, or if I'm the Nana, I have the passive. Oh, this is just damn good this MLBB. Is, this is art, this art in motion. Art right in now. motion, that's a perfect way to say it. All right, so with that, again, Edward can do it, Oheb, I don't think so. Uh, so right now, they have to think Blacklist International has to commit to a plan. Control the long lane or go for the Lord fight. 
and AP Brand are checking which of these decisions Blacklist is most likely to do. AP Brand knows this as well, right? They know they, they can push as much pressure on the bottom side, and Blacklist has no choice but to answer. I love that uh, Yue actually uh, rebought, or uh, I'm assuming that he rebought his uh, glowing wand. It's because a lot of these fights actually leave heroes at maybe just a percent of their HP. That'll allow for them to not walk away. That'll actually allow them to finish the job. That burn's gonna be huge here in the late game. Yeah. Folks, here we are. The first 30 minute game of the our very young season here. It's a cold late, no, it's not that late. It's a cold night here in Manila, but all this action that I'm seeing is actually warming me up. And I'm sure you watching at home is enjoying it right now. Comment wherever you're watching, who's gonna take the cake here? Is it Blacklist International? Is it AP Bren? To be fair, we've been watching, uh, what, a Lord Dance impending for the past five minutes. And I gotta say, in addition to all of the micro and the macro that they're playing here, I'm just happy that the Lord Dance has evolved to, to, to this level, right? Yeah, uh, we, we're way past that Lord Dance where everyone's just on the back of the back of the hill and oh, all yeah. that. I, I, I miss this. Uh, again, yeah. the last time I remember Lord Dance were this hot, where I'd say uh, the... the, the Winter of 2021. Yeah. Uh, it was a legendary call on the MPLI desk. Napudu fight the dance floor. When that was a call, it was Blacklist in that match. Oh, Aji. You oh, said he catches him. Owen is not really doing much right now, being bomb. caught up at all the CC of Blacklist. And that, oh, while all that's happening, Tensui as well, waiting in the wings. The minions. Now the problem for Blacklist International. Woo. Every time they want to make a play, they have to worry about the minions. The lead that AP Brand have built for themselves. But AP Brand still very wary of everything Blacklist International can bring to the table. And now are also very wary of Sensui's capability to steal the major objective. Close. Oh. Will AP Brand call it? Yeah, and Haji just trying to push up whoever he can. And Blochen is in good oh. range right now. But the HP bars are just not in a good oh position. Ohab will start Marco. to fall. Edwards on the back. Sensui as well. I think he's starting to back off. This could be bad here for Blacklist. He make it. Haji. And uh, Haji, I don't know how he's still alive after all of this. Oh. The Blacklist is the one who's actually falling here. Clutch shave there by Yue. Able to utilize Molina to make sure that Haji will be able to get away, but Edward won't be able to. Yeah, Marco! Edward's in trouble. Immortality's still there, so that's something. Again, by so much time With here. With the drones. Oh, the just went all the right. He the could take one. Oh, boy. And now with, uh, with the addition of Flap Easy, oh! that might be it. That took, that took a minute longer than it should have. That, that was cooked. They bought time. That's all the time they needed. Blacklist down two men. AP Brent all five on the map, but it's not like they're worse for wear here. It's not like all of that, these two kills came for free. There was so much effort that got into killing Oheb and Edward here. It was a whole minute, I think. More than a whole minute. But finally, after all the action we've seen, is this the winning moment of AP Brent, or will Blacklist somehow pull something out of the bag to Oheb's force the game number three, AP Bren, here they are! Oheb sends Eggett out, and Sweet, not the best clear in the world right now. Blah! Two man petrify here, landing up on that dragon. Haji! And Yue, their main clear is gonna fall. Oheb, no the way! last minute toward the port memory. Will he have enough damage clear these last three tents here? Oh, oh! They held on as much as they can. But AP Bren, come out on top.